Welcome to this tutorial. We are pleased to present you the new GeneUp PCR workflow. The new GeneUp PCR workflow has been developed to optimize the PCR step. In this tutorial, we will first discuss the changes made to the GeneUp PCR tubes and caps, along with a new accessory to streamline the GeneUp PCR workflow. Next, we will review the new PCR workflow and conclude with the cleaning and maintenance part. Let's discover together these changes. The product references for all the GeneUp PCR kits will remain unchanged. What are the changes and updates to the GeneUp PCR tubes? They are now color coded for a visualized workflow. The PCR tubes will now be held together in a color coded plate format. Each kit will have a unique color that matches the color code on the box in the pouch of the kit. Please note that the following PCR kits have not changed and will remain the same. The SEST and the EH2 kits. For US customers, the PEC kit also will not change. The new tube format incorporates the 96 tubes held together as a plate and no longer as strips of 8. This change no longer requires cutting to separate the PCR tubes from the strips and they can now be easily broken apart for individual testing. The PCR tubes are manufactured with new storage caps with septum. Lysit samples can be pipetted directly through the septum cap, limiting the risk of cross-contamination and no longer requiring the removal of the transport caps prior to the addition of lysit. With the update to the new PCR tubes, the PCR tube holder has been updated with a new design that includes a lid. The addition and function of the lid is to maintain the tubes throughout the PCR workflow, beginning from initial pipetting, to spinning and removal of the septum caps, to the transfer of the PCR tube holder to the GeneUp instrument for PCR run. Now let's discuss the differences between the PCR tube holder and the lid. The PCR tube holder is identified with the 9353 reference number. In addition, on the side of the PCR plate and lid, there are keyed connections, male and female, helping to place correctly the lid on the PCR plate. The lid does not have the reference number. The lid has two black triangles for visual orientation of the lid on the holder. Along with the new PCR tubes and holder, there is also an accessory required for the removal of the blue septum caps from the PCR tubes. The new tool is the GeneUp Decap Up. Now that we have reviewed the changes to the GeneUp PCR tube format, let's discover the new GeneUp PCR workflow. Note that the sample preparation and the lysis step are not impacted by the tube change, and the workflow remains the same. Let's begin by removing the lid. Pinch the clips on both sides of the lid, pressing firmly and lift. Referencing the plate map, obtain the required number of PCR tubes from the GeneUp PCR kit. Place the correct number of PCR tubes in the GeneUp PCR tube holder. Once the number of PCR tubes is placed on the PCR tube holder, replace the lid. Align the black triangles of the lid with the A1 position of the PCR tube holder. Using the GeneUp tips, aspirate 10 microliter of lysate. Referencing the plate map, transfer the lysate to the PCR tube. Keeping the pipette vertical, insert the pipette tip through the lid of the PCR tube holder and the septum cap, and dispense the sample. To prevent pipetting mistakes, there is an optional safeguard that can be added before the addition of the lysate. 
by adding a pierceable film over the top of the lid of the PCR tube holder. The pipet tip will create a hole during the addition of lysate to the PCR tube, thus creating a visual check that the sample has been added or is still required. This pierceable film is not provided by Biomaryu, but can be purchased from another vendor like VWR. Now that the lysate has been added to all the PCR tubes, place the PCR tube holder with the lid into the spinner. Balance the spinner and spin for 10 seconds at maximum speed. Upon completion of the spinning step, pinch the clips on both sides of the lid, pressing firmly, and lift to remove from the PCR tube holder. Place the lid under the Gene Up PCR tube holder. The lid aids to secure the PCR tubes when removing the septum caps. Using the Gene Up decap up, insert the hooks into the septum caps and gently rock back to remove the septum caps from the PCR tubes. Discard the septum caps into the biohazard waste container by pressing the button of the decap up. It is recommended to remove the blue septum caps one strip at a time. To prevent cross-contamination, never reuse the blue septum caps. Once the blue septum caps have been removed from one strip, seal the strip with the optical caps. To seal, take the gene up capper and lysis tube remover and rock back and forth over the optical caps. Visually inspect the optical caps are flush with the PCR tube. Visually check the contents of each PCR tube through the optical cap for liquid, color, volume and sample droplets adhering to the side of the PCR tube. If droplets are noted, re-spin. When transferring the plate to the gene up instrument, we recommend to add the lid to the PCR tube holder to secure the PCR tubes in the plate. As a reminder, to place the lid correctly on the PCR tube holder, align the black triangles of the lid with the A1 position of the PCR tube holder. Then, insert the plate into the gene up instrument and remove the lid from the holder. The samples are now ready to be processed in the gene up instrument. Now that we have reviewed the revised GeneUp PCR workflow, let's review the cleaning and maintenance part. We recommend cleaning the GeneUp PCR tube holder with lid after each use. Use a 0.1 to 1% final concentration of chlorine solution, followed by rinsing with distilled water. Allow to air dry completely before use in the GeneUp. The decap up should also be cleaned after each use by bath with the same protocol or with a dedicated ready to use spray. Warning! It's not possible to launch a run with a strip with the previous format and a strip with the new format because the tube sizing is different. Thank you for viewing this tutorial on the new Gene Up PCR workflow. Next, Let's learn more about the workflow step-by-step by, step by watching the GeneUp PCR workflow tutorial.